Selling memberships is one of the most popular online business models. It's used by publishers, online trainers and sites like Netflix. It's called a paywall. You put up a wall, block your content and charge people to get in. Whether you're selling access to your lessons, articles or videos or to the other members of your community, you'll need a way of blocking access, accepting payments and then allowing certain people to access certain areas. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can set up this with WordPress. Setting memberships to a website may sound straightforward, but most businesses have their own requirements and need it to work slightly differently for them. For example, let's say you're setting up an online training course. You want people to sign up on a monthly or yearly basis. You want to accept the two leading online payment systems, PayPal and Stripe. And you also want the payments to reoccur automatically. You want the drip content over time so that people can't just download everything right away and then cancel on you. And you want to offer discount coupons and create as many membership levels as you like. And also, you want people to be able to manage their account, maybe to upgrade or easily cancel if they want to. And finally, let's say you also want each member of your site to automatically be an affiliate so that they get paid to refer you new users. Okay, there's a lot going on there, so let's see, how do you set that up? Well, let's look at your options. You're looking for what's called a WordPress membership plugin. And man, oh man, there are a lot of competitors out there trying to sell you their solution to this particular problem. A few years ago, there was a big digital marketing battle between like the main competitors who were selling membership plugins at that time. That battle resulted in loads of fake websites getting set up with dodgy reviews, which made the whole process of picking the right plugin way more confusing than it needed to be. So going back to our online training course example, which is the best plugin for the job? Well, let's go through a few and see. First, we look at Digital Access Pass. I tried this one, but I didn't like it. People had difficulty logging in sometimes, and then it wouldn't work when I switched my hosting to WP Engine, and that was the end of that. S2 Member is a free plugin, but people weren't able to edit their account or cancel payments or anything like that. Um, it didn't really handle affiliates very well either, so I used it for a while and moved on. Wishlist Member is a popular plugin. It's been around for years. I'm not sure if it allows users to upgrade and cancel their accounts because I've never bought it. Uh, the reason I've never bought it is because the source code is encrypted. That means uh, you can't hire a developer to tweak it if you need to change something. And for me, that just wasn't a runner at all. Uh, so since that battle took place a few years back, um, a few new entrants came along. And the quality of the membership plugins that they've made has gone up, uh, way up. Restrict Content Pro looks pretty good. But if you've got discussion forums and social networking pages and uh, body press and stuff like that set up, then you need to protect those pages and Restrict Content Pro doesn't allow you to do that. Uh, WooCommerce has add-ons that allows you to sell memberships and opens up some really powerful possibilities. Like for example, with WooCommerce, uh, you can sell stuff on Facebook. And it also works with like every single payment provider there is. Um, now, there is a bit of messing around with add-ons, but they're all made by the same guys at WooTeams, uh, and they work, so it's not a big deal. So WooCommerce is an option uh, for people who want to sell memberships on their website. Um, so which one would I recommend? Well, I'm going to recommend three. The free option that you should try first is called Paid Membership Pro. Now, don't let the pro part uh, fool you. It's actually free software. Um, it does everything we need with the exception of the built-in affiliate program. If you're testing your first membership site, then this free option will let you focus on getting customers and getting to know those customers as quickly and cheaply as possible. The one I chose for my online training course at WP Applied um, is MemberPress. Um, it accepts Stripe and PayPal, it does coupons, it handles dripping content, it blocks forum and bodypress pages, and Paid Membership Pro does all that stuff too, but MemberPress also has a built-in affiliate program, so it ticks all the boxes. A third option that I might recommend if you wanted something more powerful is iTeams Exchange. If you want to sell other kinds of stuff, for example, like physical products and eBooks and stuff like that, then iTeams Exchange is a simple uh, and powerful way of doing that. It's free, which means you can play around with it and design your sales page and figure out what your site would look like uh, without spending any money at all. But uh, you'll need to spend around $200 for the add-ons that allow you 
to actually lock content, you know, and the membership stuff, and also recurring payments. So you'll have to pay about two hundred dollars for that. But like I say, you can try it and play with it for free as well. And so there are my two recommendations: uh, Paid Content Pro, MemberPress, and iTeams Exchange. And that's it. I hope this uh, saves you time setting up your new membership site. Honestly, uh, deciding on the plugin is the hardest part of the whole process. That and getting people to sign up and give you their money, obviously. Uh, if you want more detailed research on choosing the right membership plugin, then check out a guy called Chris Lima. He's at chrislima.com and he is thorough. If you're looking for help building a WordPress website for your business, then check out the free tutorials here on WP Applied. You can click the link right here in the video. If you've got a question, please ask away in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please share it and also join our newsletter. Uh, we, every week we send out a weekly email with tips and advice on how to manage your WordPress website properly, and how to grow your business online with WordPress. So that's all. This has been Brian Duffy at WPApply.com. Thanks for watching.